folks, Larry Wingate here. This week's Five Friends blog is about our biggest challenges, either personally or professionally. Mine won't surprise any of you if you are a fan of what I do or have read any of my books or follow me at all. Things bother me. The stupidity of other people. I have no tolerance for it, no patience for it. It bothers me when people talk in movie theaters and when they litter or when at a grocery store they park in the fire lane simply because they're too damn lazy to walk from that parking place to get in the front door thinking that a fire will never happen or when they park in handicap parking or run red lights and do all of the things that people do. I believe that action is based in entitlement, rudeness, and a lack of respect for others. And they think that rules should apply to everybody else, but certainly not to them. I have to learn to deal with that so it doesn't eat me up, because I can tell you that sometimes I get to the point that it really bothers me way too much. I just have to accept the fact that people are idiots, and I can prove it. Hey, it's Joe Calloway. I'm sitting here trying to come up with my biggest challenge <laughs> because a lot of things come to mind. But you know what I think it might be is execution. I, I love ideas, and that's a good thing in my business because I'm in the idea business. But the problem is I love ideas so much that I'm kind of a victim of, of my, as my friend Marty Grunder would say, the squirrel syndrome, which I have a great idea. I go to work on it, and then all of a sudden, squirrel, I see another idea, and I think, well, whoa, that idea is even better. And so I leave the one that I'm on, and I go after the new one, and then I go after the new one after that. So I think if there's one challenge that I really need to work on, it would be I need to stick with the good idea that I've got and execute fully. Always on the lookout for the next idea, but... Let's finish one before I jump ship and start another one. Hey, it's Randy Pennington here, and someone suggested that we do a piece on our biggest challenge. And I immediately had questions. Are these personal challenges, professional challenges, stuff that I allow just to tick me off and take up my time and energy? Then it hit me. Although it's not my only challenge by any means, one of my biggest challenges is that I tend to overthink well, just about everything. That ability to see all sides of an issue and generate new possibilities is a strength when I'm working with my clients. But it can be a real challenge when it gets in the way of taking decisive action. So that's it. I need to stop overanalyzing without being overly reckless. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it until another idea pops into my head. I'll see you next time. Hi, this is Mark Sanborn, and we're focusing on our greatest personal or professional challenge. I have many, and I have many imperfections, but the one I'm going to focus on right now is my general lack of patience. Time is our most precious resource. You can enjoy uh, time without money, but you can't enjoy money without time. So I hate it when somebody wastes my time. It makes me nuts when in the marketplace, a service provider isn't conscious of my time and takes their good old time doing what it is they're supposed to be doing. While there might be a slight upside to paying attention to time to get more done and to be efficient, the downside is it makes your family, friends, and others nuts. Not only do you raise your blood pressure, but you raise theirs as well. So I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity to keep it short and save you time. Let me just say this. I struggle with it. Be conscious of your time. Just don't be obnoxious about it. Hey, it's Scott. So if anybody asked the other of five friends who would be the last one to get his video in, I think I would have probably gotten all of the votes. For everyone knows, my single biggest challenge is procrastination. Getting things done, staying organized. Now, it's easy to pass it off and say, oh, I'm a creative type, right? I mean, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm an artist. I, <laughs> I don't follow those tr traditional specific rules. But the challenge is it's tough when you're in business. And so the problem that I have, and the one I certainly need to work on, is how do you get more disciplined to get the small stuff done. Oh, don't get me wrong, I turn my books and, and my big projects in on time, but the nitty gritty things or the daily activities are the ones that's most difficult for me. So my pledge to you is that I'm gonna work on my challenge and I hope you work on it as well. How do you stay more organized and disciplined in challenging times?